Well, the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, has made it clear he plans to target sanctuary cities, denying certain federal funds to places that refuse to cooperate with ICE in enforcing this country's immigration laws. But at least one city is doing it anyway, actually a bunch are. Despite the Trump administration's warnings, Lansing, Michigan, the city council there, just voted to make itself, in effect, a sanctuary city. Virgil Bernaro is the mayor of Lansing, and he joins us now. Mr. Mayor, thanks a lot for coming on. Absolutely, Tucker. I've seen your show. I know you're fair. Well, I try to be fair, and I also try to get to what the principle is underneath the policy. And I just want to know when it's okay for cities to ignore federal law, just kind of going forward. Well, uh, probably never. Uh, I think we have a federal system, though, as you know. You're a pretty smart guy. I was hoping we are going to be able to have an, a, a smart discussion. I passed an executive order, I'm sure you have a copy of it, that we think comports with federal law. My city attorney looked at it, I discussed it at length with my chief of police, and it basically put in writing what was already our modus operandi. It was what we were doing, but we didn't have a written policy. I thought it was important at this time to put it in writing so that there was no confusion with our officers or our citizens. We we think it comports with federal law. As you know, we have a federal system. And for your viewers, you know, they should understand that sometimes you've got to go back and look this stuff up. And I do, too, uh, because we have federal, state, and local. And we have responsibilities. And my primary responsibility, my number one job, Tucker, is to keep people safe. I take it very seriously. Uh -huh. I, I, for 12 years, I've been mayor. And public safety is job one. After that, economic development. So if Donald Trump or Jeff Sessions think that they can increase safety in my community, I'd like to know about it. I'd be happy to have a discussion with them about it. But we are not ready to federalize our local Lansing Police Department. Well, we don't not, have they're that. Not, we, we, they're not asking you, I don't think, to federalize, but not to subvert federal law. And I don't think that legally it's your prerogative to do that. And again, I've asked other mayors the same question. I'd love to hear your response. If your position suddenly became that we're not going to enforce the federal laws on tax evasion, <coughs> child pornography, or gun possession, People look at you and say, you don't get to do that because you don't write the federal laws. You're subject to them. And you would say, what? I don't feel like it. What would be your response? I'd say this, Tucker, and again, this is great. Let's have a reasoned discussion. Let's bring yeah. in FBI, state, federal. We have a great relationship with the federal authorities, FBI, ATF, and yes, ICE. It is not a top-down relationship. We rely on them. They rely on, on us. When we need them, they're there most of the time. And when they need us, we're there. If they say we've got to go, go catch John Doe, violent criminal, we've got their backs. But we are not. We, I've got about two dozen officers at any given time for 120,000 people, citizens. Uh, so uh, immigration enforcement is not a priority for us, OK? okay it just but, isn't. We no, have but, to keep the community safe. Okay, we are not I, immigration officers. OK, but you're going to lose as you know, because the Attorney General announced it, federal funding, which I know that you rely upon, for the I don't believe that for a minute. Because you I don't believe this. that. Well, they are, well, okay, you don't I think don't it may happen, that. but they're, they're telling you that it's going to happen, and if they push it, they can probably get it done. And I'm but telling you, is, I'm willing to fight them. Okay, well, apparently I'm telling you, you I'm willing to fight them. A, a, apparently you are. But my we point have a is, federal system. This is a system of laws, okay, not of men. We have a system of laws, not of men. I'm aware of that. They can believe what they want. Okay, got it. But you're saying you're ignoring those laws because you want no. to and you're losing no. federal funding. So hold on, let me finish my question. So if your, job, if your job is to protect the city and to do what you can for the people of Lansing, why would you risk that except to make a fashionable moral statement? Because, which is clearly because what you're I doing. don't accept. Look, I didn't look for this fight, Tucker. This fight found me. I tried to avoid this fight. But uh, public safety is my job. I didn't wait for Jeff Sessions or Donald Trump. I've been keeping the citizens of Lansing safe for 12 years, and my police chief and the brave men and women of the Lansing Police Department. Don't get me wrong. They do the, they, they do the heavy lifting. We don't need, we're, we're not looking for Donald Trump's leadership. And if you want to talk about what's, what makes people safe. What makes people safe in terms of the police is relationships with community. It's about uh, building bridges and not walls. It's about community oh, policing. It's about trust. Yes, it's about, it's about, it's about civility. Okay. Okay. Got it. I've heard this a thousand times and I ask the same question every time. Perhaps you can answer it. Do you have any social science, since criminology is a species of that, it's studied, all this stuff is studied, that shows that when you don't enforce immigration law at the local level, your city gets safer? That there's a causal relationship well, between the two. Do you have any 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 research on that? Again, 
this is the, the research we have. Community policing works. And again, what I issued in my executive order is a statement of what we're already doing. Crime is going down in Lansing, and we build, we believe in community policing. We believe that the police have to have, and this is something my police chief studies, he talks to other chiefs, they, they're about building relationships with the community, they're about police uh, right. credibility okay. and police legitimacy. And so if you're seen as an occupying force, if you're seen as an occupying force, an and occupy something that the people wait, wait, don't so trust. I'm, I'm sorry. It, an occupying force in your own country. People come into your country illegally. Your job is to enforce the law as a police officer, and you somehow feel guilty because you're an occupying force in a city that you live in, that you're a, a country well, you're a citizen of? How does that work? T Tucker, People Tucker, come into your country respect. illegally, and all of a sudden you're oppressing them? Like, what? With all, with, all due, with all due respect, Tucker, what I'm talking about is that our police have worked hard to build a relationship. It's what we do. Again, and again, we have, a federal, we have a federal system. Too much, Mr. Mayor. The, well, That's because, too but much. it's not too much. But it's not too much. It's easy, it's easy for white men like us to say that who are in the majority who enjoy what we enjoy You've but got the fact is okay see yeah. I was taking you seriously at the beginning but this is just buffoonish now well, it's like I'm a white man well, so my my well, that's, views on this are less material that's your, or something? That's your perspective try to walk in another man's shoes though walk a mile in somebody else's shoes. I thought shoes. you believed in laws now you're making I do, racial absolutely. generalizations? We're, we're, we're a government of laws and not of men which is why we, we, oh, we believe for, that what we have is working and, and less valuable. Well, slow down White men's views no. are less valuable. I'm not. I'm not in a position no. to judge because of my skin color. I was saying that you could be enlightened, promise, but then I thought it's unfair. Now I think it is fair. Actually, you would say something you like can, you would you attack could, people on their you skin color. You can be enlightened color. by what, what considering this? somebody else's perspective. That's all. I do, do you get pulled over? For, do you get? Do you ever get pulled of the over? People who do, live here. Do you ever get pulled over for driving while white? Okay. Now you, we're getting, you, now you, we're just getting into into completely crazy talk. You're making well, generalizations we're, 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 based on no, race and demeaning your office. We're getting into the nitty gritty of, of policing, which is what I do. There's nothing it's precise about what you're saying. We're getting here. bumper stickers. Yes, keeping people safe is what we do. Dunham, spare me. All right, it's what we do every day. Good luck, Mr. Mayor.